Yeah, welcome again. In this episode, we are learning how to draw a pattern on the last. And the pattern uh, we're about to draw is that of a royal or a slip on shoe. And so, kindly follow me and see you know, what I'm about to do. Okay, so now, first thing first, we need to get this last you know, divided. By dividing, I mean we need to you know sketch a line at the middle of the last, so that that you know will help us in in sketching a perfect pattern. So, so what I need to do is I need to draw a line at the center, and I will connect them eventually but just ensure that you do something mm -hmm. straight because this will help you to get something perfect in case you are not satisfied with whatever you might have drawn that is why we have an eraser this will help in cleaning off, then we do a sketching again. But if you also, so now I'm done with the drawing of the line. So I'll also do the same thing at the back. I'll do the same thing at the back. Okay, so I am done with the drawing of the line at the center of the last. So what I need to do now is to start you know, sketching my pattern. And please don't forget that this is a slip-on shoe or a royal shoe. Okay, so I just want you to follow how I go about this so that you can also, or you will, also be able to replicate whatever I'm doing here over there. You don't need to be an artist before you be able to sketch on your last. You don't need to be an artist. You can do the best that you can. Just sketch it. Sketch. If you notice any mistake, anything that needs adjustment, so what you just need to do is your eraser is there to clean off any mistake, then you can resketch again. So I am done with my sketching on the last. But if you still want to develop yourself into, you know, becoming good in pattern making, you can also replicate whatever you might have done on this side to this side. At the end of the day, you necessarily do not need this. 
but you know for development you can also replicate it on the other side okay okay so i am done with my sketching on the last so the next thing for me to do is to start cutting please always note that whenever you are cutting your pattern out from the last always cut on the on the line and whenever you are using your knife to cut please i always advise that you need to be careful just take it one step at a time okay just be careful So yes, I'm done cutting, so the next thing for me to do is to start removing the tape from the last. You need to get your, your cardboard close to you, so that once you remove, you just replace it. you need to pay close attention to the center and that is where I am marking out so this will help in drawing the straight line so that when I'm mirroring or I'm flipping the pattern it will serve as a guide and it will give me a perfect pattern eventually So when sketching it out on the cardboard, you stop at this center, this center, then you stop here as well. You don't have any business with the other side. We are fine with this side, this right side only.
okay so i am connecting the dots at the center okay so now what i need to do is to perfect whatever i have sketched on this cardboard okay so with the help of my french curve i can i can work on the curves that i have on this pattern so with your french curve you can get that achieved So I need to add excess to the pattern as well. So excess of two centimeter is fine. Excess of two centimeter is fine. Also, you need to add excess of one centimeter to the back side. Okay, so you use your French cord to connect the back side. To connect the dots so the next thing for me to do is to cut out this side that I've drawn on my cardboard So the next thing for me to do is to follow the line drawn at the center, then you now flip your pattern to the other side. Then you use it to trace it out on your cardboard.
this is our, our pattern for a slip on shoe kindly subscribe to our channel and in case you have questions and further inquiries you can send messages to our dm and we'll answer you as fast as we can thank you very much